And while you're on the road, you'll likely see plenty of fireworks tents. Today, we joined a Jackson County fire inspector at a local fireworks stand. The biggest thing they're looking for is illegal fireworks. But they say even the legal ones can be dangerous, especially if they're not used correctly. Every year, July 4th is one of the busiest days for fire departments across the country. I'm KSHB 41 News reporter Todd Palmer. We're out here at a fireworks stand in Blue Springs where we talk to the Central Jackson County Fire Protection District about ways to stay safe this 4th of July. I don't think we dread it. Uh, we just know that we're anticipating a higher call volume for that day. Fireworks on the 4th lead to increased calls for grass fires, property damage, and burn injuries. We ask that if you are discharging fireworks, that you have an open space to light them, that you set them on the ground, that you don't hold them in your hand. Last year we had several fires that we contributed uh, to fireworks, as well as we had nine EMS calls that we were able to relay directly back to fireworks as well. Katie Tholen has helped run Cornerstone Church's tent for eight years. They raise money for missions by selling fireworks. We had uh, two big U-Hauls and then another delivery. So one U-Haul is like 30, what did he say, 4,900 pounds of something. So yeah, we go through a, a lot of pallets. The church's stand has become a holiday tradition for families across Kansas City, and nobody wants a mishap to spoil the party. We hope everybody has safe and have a fun fourth, and we know it's a great time that families and friends get to spend together, but we also want to make sure that they do it in a safe manner. In a perfect world, everyone will have the same number of fingers July 5th that they started July 4th with. In Blue Springs, I'm Todd Palmer, KSHB 41 News.